Hello folks, today I'm looking at a pair of smart glasses. It's something that I've been wanting to try for a while now. These are the TCL NXT Wear S Extended Reality Glasses. The TCL NXT Wear S glasses simulate a 130 inch screen in front of you as viewed from about 4 meters away. It's easy to use and plugs into a host of different devices that support video output through USB Type-C, also known as USB-C DisplayPort. In this video, I'll do a quick unboxing of the TCL NXT Wear S. I'll take a closer look at the glasses and talk about its design and build quality. I'll look at its main features and specs, talk about the main use cases. I'll do a demo showing the glasses working and connected to a couple of different devices. And I'll end by providing my overall summary and opinion. So let's kick things off with a quick unboxing. So this is the box right here. Let's go ahead and open it. So inside you get the following items. A protective hard shell carrying case. And inside the case is the actual NXT Wear S glasses. And also what TCL call a classic style magnetic lens, which goes on front of the glasses. There's a prescription lens fitting, instruction manual, a cleaning cloth, a small instruction card which tells you to adjust the nose pad until it's comfortable and the image can be seen in full. There's also a spare nose pad and a small screwdriver. And finally, a connecting cable. This is a USB Type-C on one end and on the other end that connects to the glasses, this is called a magnetic pogo pin connector. So let's take a closer look at the glasses. And here it is. It looks like a regular pair of sunglasses, albeit slightly incomplete without the add-on on the front lens. Once the front magnetic lens is attached, it really does look like a normal pair of sunglasses, just slightly chunkier. It has a slightly black and dark grey metallic finish. It's made from plastic, but it feels really strong and premium in terms of build quality. And everything is incorporated within the glasses. It doesn't have any batteries as it's powered directly by the device you connect to it. The main lens section is obviously more noticeably thicker as the OLED screens are housed inside, but it's not particularly heavy. It weighs approximately 89 grams, so it's not going to weigh your head down and folded away, it looks no bigger than a regular pair of sunglasses. It has a nice silicon or rubberized nose pad which is really comfortable and soft. In fact, the glasses itself is really comfortable to wear and I don't feel any heavy pressure from the temples squeezing my head from the side. It's just like wearing a regular pair of sunglasses. You also get a second nose pad and a small screwdriver to change it out in case the standard one isn't to your liking. There are not many controls such as buttons and dials on the glasses. On the left hand side temple you have the volume control and on the right hand side you have a dial to control the brightness and you can also press this dial to switch between 2D and 3D modes. There are also integrated speakers on each temple here and here. The magnetic pogo pin connector is located on the right hand side temple here. Now, without the front magnetic lens attachment, when you wear the glasses, you can easily and clearly see what's in front of you. It's rather transparent with a slight tint. It doesn't hinder your view. And from the outside, if anyone is watching you, it has an almost mirror-like finish. So someone watching you will most likely just see their own reflection. The magnetic front lens is especially good to provide a more darker environment which basically gives the image more contrast and enhances the screen quality and experience. It also stops any spying eyes from staring at you. With the front lens on, you can still have some transparency but it's more darker. However, if you look down, you can still fully see through the bottom of the glasses. I'll demonstrate how the glasses work shortly, but first, here are the main specs. In terms of its size, when it's unfolded, it measures 175mm by 166mm by 51mm. And when it's folded, it measures 56mm by 154mm by 51mm. It weighs only 89 grams. 
it has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 in 2D mode and 3840 by 1080 in 3D mode. It has an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 and a refresh rate of 60 Hz. It has a pixel per degree or PPD of 49 and a 45 degree field of view. It has a contrast ratio of 100,000 to 1 and it uses micro OLED displays and it can simulate an image that's 130 inch in size as viewed from about 4 meters away. In terms of the way the glasses work, it's actually really simple. It requires no setup at all. You simply attach the magnetic pogo connector to the glasses and the other end, which is the USB Type-C end, to a compatible device and that's it. When connected, the glasses will simply act like a monitor and display whatever is on the source device. Here is a demo. So here I have an iPad Pro, this has a USB Type-C port which you can use as a video out. So if I simply connect the Type-C end of the cable connected to the glasses to the iPad, within a few seconds I should be able to see a mirror image of the iPad on the glasses. It's now working, I haven't had to fiddle with any settings or install anything, it's just plug and play. And if I go to the display setting on the iPad, I can choose to mirror the iPad display or use the glasses as a secondary display. It's similar to how an external monitor would basically work. And when I'm looking through the glasses, it's like seeing a giant floating image in front of me. And as I turn my head from side to side, up and down, everything moves with me. The glasses have integrated speakers so I can listen to music or watch a video and the sound will be fed through the speakers on the glasses. And this works in the same way for other compatible devices such as Android phones or even a laptop. The simplest way I can describe the TCL NXT Wear S glasses is that the glasses act as a secondary external monitor with built-in speakers, albeit a very large monitor that can display a 130 inch screen in front of you. In terms of the best use case scenarios for these glasses, in my opinion, they are the following. These are great for traveling. For example, if you're on a long journey like flying, these would be great for watching a movie. Just plug it into your iPad or a compatible phone and sit back and enjoy a cinema experience. These are also great for playing games. Just plug it into a compatible device like a Stream Deck or even a laptop and experience gaming on a 130 inch screen. These are also great for just relaxing at home. Just sit back on a sofa or even lay on your bed and watch your favorite video or play a game. And they're also great for watching videos on the move. Probably best to do this indoors only, but with the magnetic front lens attachment off, you can easily watch videos and still have enough transparency to see the environment around you. Now the experience of using these glasses is rather cool. Where I think they mostly shine is watching videos or playing games. Watching a movie with these glasses is like being at the cinema and playing games with these glasses feels really immersive. However, if you want to play games on your Xbox or PlayStation, then you will need to get an external add-on device which lets you connect to HDMI devices as well as iPhones with a lightning port. It's a shame TCL don't include this as part of the package. I'm not sure how productive these glasses would be for general use such as working because they're not AR or augmented reality glasses and they don't have eye tracking cameras built in. They don't have the ability of displaying things on screen within a mixed reality environment like you get with devices such as the MetaQuest 3 or the Apple Vision Pro. Obviously this is not in the same category but you get the general point. Now, I should mention that there is an Android app which does provide some 3D functionality with these glasses. It's not like VR or anything, but it does give you a taste of something more than just mirroring the connected device. Also, there's a Windows app that gives you the ability to work from multiple windows, which gives you a slight VR feel to it. 
Now, as good as these glasses are, there are a few things that I want to point out. Firstly, the glasses simulate a 130 inch screen as seen from 4 meters away. However, the actual screen you see doesn't feel that big. I mean, it's big because it's in front of you and you're essentially wearing, you know, a monitor on your face, so to speak. But still, what you see doesn't feel like a 130 inch display. Secondly, there's no way to adjust the screen size or location within your field of view. Your field of view is fixed. And what I found is that the very bottom edges, especially corners, get cut off from your field of view. Now, I've also read articles from various other reviewers who have experienced something similar. So I think it would have been great if there was some rudimentary control over the actual screen with sizing options and so on. These are essentially 1080p glasses, which is perfectly fine for videos and gaming. However, when doing general work or browsing the web, I have found that on some occasion the text wasn't always very sharp. I like the fact that these glasses have built-in speakers and for most things they're perfectly fine. The speakers are down firing. If you're watching a movie or listening to music, depending on the level of volume, the person next to you will most likely be able to hear it and depending on your environment, for example if you're in a public place, you should probably consider using some earbuds instead. You would Bluetooth the earbuds to your connected device. Another thing you should keep in mind is that these glasses use a proprietary cable. If you lose the supplied cable, you're sort of stuck unless you can get a replacement from TCL. This is because one end is USB type C, but the other end is a magnetic pogo pin connector. Personally, I would have preferred to have just USB type C on both ends. Now, like all electronic devices you wear on your head, be it a VR headset or these glasses, they may heat up slightly after a long period of use. Not to a point where it's uncomfortable, but just bear this in mind. Also, long period of use may lead to eye strain and headaches for some users. This is quite common with things like VR headset, so it's important to take regular breaks. Overall, my first venture into smart glasses, I would say, has been mostly a positive one. I like the overall feel and quality of these glasses. It's not exactly what I thought it would be. I think in my mind, I was expecting a more AR type experience, but these are more of an external display incorporated into sunglasses. It's like wearing a 130 inch screen on your head. However, these certainly have their uses. I think these especially shine for watching movies and playing games and are perfect for on-the-go long journeys. They are comfortable with solid build quality. I love the fact that it's powered by the connected device so I don't have to worry about batteries and the video quality is very clear and bright. I only wish it would connect to HDMI devices out the box. And that folks is the TCL NXT Wear S Extended Reality Glasses. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in the TCL NXT Wear S, I'll leave all the necessary links in the video description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll do my best to come back to you. Well folks, thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, take care and I'll see you on the next one.